61, and Rebekah rose and her damsels, and they rode upon camels, and followed the man, and the servant took Rebekah and went his way. Do you guys see something there? Rebekah arose, not only her nurse, but it says her damsels went with her. Like I kept saying, Rebekah is the chosen elect bride of Christ, but she has these other women that are going to come with her that get to enjoy the blessings of this relationship. Um, in Revelation chapter 7, verse 9, uh, Jesus describes a great multitude which no man could number of all nations, kindreds, and people, and tongues that were saved, that were saved through the tribulation. But you go to Revelation chapter 14, and, re, uh, and the other parts of Revelation 7, there were only 144,000 of Israel, whether that's a literal number or symbolic, they are said to be the virgin bride of Christ. In the book of Revelation, the virgin bride of Christ is this 144,000 group of all the 12 tribes of Israel, 12,000 from each tribe, either literally or symbolically. I'm, we're not going to go into that. But so even in the book of Revelation, you have the chosen and you have the called. The called were still blessed. They still got to uh, receive great blessings from this. In fact, that was the promise that was given to Abraham that in his seed, in Revelation or Genesis 22, verse 18, all nations of the earth would be blessed. All right. So, I, I'll put it this way. Rebecca, thus, Rebecca is a type of the elect of Israel. Romans chapter 9, verse 6, and 11, verse 7, the bride of Christ. While her damsels are a type of the Gentile converts to Christianity.